Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and the start of a brand new campaign. Because uh, there have been a few updates to the campaign. Um, firstly, I can start in 1940. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to put it on hard difficulty. Uh, so the AI has a slight income bonus, so should make the campaign last a bit longer. Uh, we're going to go with the random AI opponent, because this could be, could be interesting. And as a challenge, and to make things a bit different... Um, I'm going to use an auto-generated fleet. So this is a bit of a self-imposed challenge. Normally I would not recommend doing this. Um, but yeah, we're going to go with an auto-generated fleet. Um, and we're going to see what we get. And then we're going to see what we're going to have to build. Or try and replace things with. Because um, this will also build me... Not only will this design the ships, but it's going to give me the ships too. So... This could be very, very interesting. I could end up with some absolute trash that uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to try and replace as quickly as possible. Um, we we shall see. Really interested to see what the AI comes up with. So it should give me a battleship, battle cruiser, heavy cruiser, light cruiser, and destroyer design. Um, I'll look through all of the designs we get. I'll look at where our fleet is lacking, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, start ordering up some replacements, I think. Just to make it a bit more interesting, because I, I, re I haven't done uh, a series where I've let the AI design the ships, and the, the devs did say that they've made some improvements. So, I'm, I'm curious to see what sort of uh, stuff... The AI builds and it's just going through the techs. Still May 1935. I've not started the 1940 campaign before, uh, so I'm not quite sh sure what techs to expect. Um, you'd hope that nearly all of them will be available, but uh, might not be the case. Right. <clears throat> First off, monthly balance is not great. Um, we can fix all this. Shipyard size is bloody amazing. 69,000 tons. I do want to get that up to... Uh, we'll, do, we'll just go for six months. Just to get it up to 70. Because uh, that's a nice round number. I know it'll be beyond that. Uh, crew training we want up. Transport capacity we want up. Tick budget. We will cut that right back on. Right. What have we got? Four battleships to their four battleships. Fair enough. This is very even. I like this. Okay, so we're pretty much exactly even, except they have an extra light. We have an extra light cruiser compared to the Germans. Very nice. Okay. And uh, I just want to see the, the renaming. Oh, that is so cool. Right. Um, we also have an audacious class battleship under construction. So I'm going to suspend anything that is currently in under construction because I want to have a look at these um, before I allow them to. But I don't want to waste money on a on, on a ship that's rubbish. So let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look with our. Let's have a look at the destroyers first of all. The, uh, what are these? Neridi class. I hate them. Okay, those are just bad. I can tell you straight away, those are bad. Uh, <laughs> oh, goodness me. What have they got? Um, three two-inch, uh, three twin four-inch guns. A triple two-inch. These torpedo tubes are horrible. Right in the middle of the ship. 23 inch fasts, but oh my goodness me, no armor, maximum bulkheads though, they're pretty fast, I mean, they're not the worst thing in the world, look at that engine efficiency, Jesus Christ, and how much are they? to build, because they had gas turbines, and they can be very expensive. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, these are terrible. So, new destroyer. Definitely. Definitely a new destroyer. Right, let's have a look at the light cruiser. Fuck me. Okay, those don't look too bad. Six inch guns? No, seven inch guns. Very nice. Again, using very expensive <laughs> gas turbine engines. Maximum bulkheads. It's quite nice. Chew powder picric acid. Interesting mixture. We have radar. Loads of torpedoes. Uh, light shells. Reduced ammo. Mm, they're okay. They're okay. But I don't think they're going to do particularly well. I think if we go for a, a kind of destroyer that kind of bridges, you know, a, a, a quite nice punchy gun destroyer that's maybe a little bit less than the 55 million that these things cost. Damn. The heavy cruiser's cheaper. <laughs> oh, my word. Heavy cruisers are cheaper. They look really strange, those funnels. Hideous gun layout. Seven inch guns. Ah, oh, yeah, these these are awful. Just terrible. Okay, so we, we are replacing everything. <laughs> they are at least not stupidly expensive. Uh, come on. The, the battle cruiser is more expensive than the battleship. Interesting. Damn. Nice. Very nice. 19 inch guns, nine of them. Whew. Deary me. Uh, can she hit with them? Probably can. 57 base accuracy, 66 long range. Isn't too bad. Um, well, it just goes down to 48. It's not bad. They could be pretty nasty. Armour is shit. Like, really shit. Uh, so, very much a glass cannon. But that's a nice amount of firepower. And we have the Majestics. Which have 12... 17 inch guns. Using light... Oh, jeez. Not a big fan of these either. Again, they'll probably do okay, but they are not the best. S decent speed. Okay armor. Mm. Oh my god, look at that smoke interference. Yeah, I think, uh, I think we'll be uh, designing all new ships. Okay, so, um, first of all, these two, I know they're under construction, but I'm just going to scrap them. Uh, I think, yeah, I'll design all new, I, I'll, I'll design a new destroyer class, um, and a new battleship class, maybe, but definitely new destroyers. Right, new design. What hulls do we have available, actually? We have... Oh, we have the Super at 80,000. Uh, it's probably going to be tricky. But we might be able to get... We've got the two moderns, which is pretty nice. So we'll go for a modern destroyer standard, I think. Which is going to kind of bridge the gap between our destroyers and our light cruisers. And we have a budget, roughly, I want these to come out at somewhere under 50 million, but uh, I, I, I don't want to spend that much on them. So I just want them to be nice, nice and effective. So I want them to have a long range. And because of that, yes, we do have them. I think I'm going to use the marine diesels because uh, these are really good for long range ships 
Run them on oil three, and we'll give them just an orcs diesel backup. I don't want to go too nuts with the batteries and things. Uh, shaft is usually a good shout. And I do want them to be manoeuvrable. Okay. Good, 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 good. Right, towers. Six, five, four. Uh, just go with the cheap one, I think. And same here. I don't think they're offering me huge increases for what they are. Well, loads of funnel options. Uh, since I have 25 smoke, but yeah, I can actually have a little bit more than that. The dual funnel 2 doesn't fit. Okay. We have two of those. Nope, don't fit either. These do. Get two of those in. Perfect. Very nice. And 100% engine efficiency at 42.2 knots. So I have absolutely loads of speed to play with. I'll probably just go for 40 knots, to be honest. Um, probably means I can get smaller funnels if I wanted. Yep. Lovely. Actually, can we get away with just one of those? Oh, almost. We'll go for that. I don't need them going stupidly fast. 39... Point five is probably enough, and a single funnel makes them a little bit easier to deal with. Right, guns. Yeah, Mark Five. They're all Mark Fives. So that's fine. Um, I'm gonna want plenty of firepower on these. I do my trick of uh, getting a super new firing pair at the back. I can if I want. But uh, I think I'll save the weight. I'll go for nine. I'll go for the nine. Nine guns. And we need torpedo launcher. Quad. I uh, want big ones and I'll stick with standards to be honest. I think standards should be fine. Ooh, triple base. Nasty. Okay, you can definitely use a uh, triple base. Uh, yeah, I think this ship is going to. Maybe a quintuple launcher in the middle like that? Yeah. Huge four-way offset still. Can I put, not put this down here? No. Hmm. Looks very strange, this destroyer at the moment. Uh, might pan out later. I do need radar and sonar. Not important. Uh, what's the flash fire chance on this? One. Yeah, we'll go for really, really punchy shells. Uh, probably standard barbettes would be enough. Uh, don't need standard courses on the destroyer. Cramp should be fine. Many bulkheads is pretty nice. Uh, we can upgrade the armor. We can reinforce those bulkheads. That's very expensive. I'll go with just standard single bottom hull. Um, I'd rather have actual armor protecting the ship. This can make a, a pretty big difference. Just the, the bizarre, it's just saying so much four way offset. It's uh, unreal. Um, 
I'm kind of surprised. There we go. The balance of the ship. I know I've still got armor to fiddle around with, but I don't think I'm, I'm going to add any more. I think that's fine. Um, what I'd rather do is... Well, can I get maximum bulkheads? That would be very nice. I can? Brilliant. Maximum bulkheads is making these very, very tanky. It'd be nice to get a little bit more superstructure armor if I could. Oh, that'll do. Tower armor? Perfect. Don't need, really need more deck armor than that. And uh, I'm just going to reduce displacement a little bit. Let's see what we can get away with. There we go, 2,303. Uh, 304. <laughs> get in there. Five. There we go. That's pretty nice. The Radiant class, although they don't look very Radiant, I'll be honest. They look, they look pretty awful. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Aesthetics? No, definitely not. They look ugly as sin. These destroyers with this weird blank space right in the middle of them. But uh, they seem to balance the ship. Must have an absolutely terrible pitch. Yeah, it does. Mm. It's just because you can't... Oh, you can put the tower down here. Okay, never mind. Let's let's see if we can reduce the this pitch and roll because it's pretty flipping abysmal at the moment. Uh, hold down control if you if you're wondering how I'm shifting things about. If you if you hold down control, you sometimes can uh, place place things a little bit more easily. Yeah, there we go. It's looking a little bit more reasonable. Point one. There. So, still the same ship. Exactly the same ship. Still has no offset, but we've reduced that pitch by a reasonable amount. It's still pretty pitchy. I mean, it's a destroyer, but... And it doesn't look quite as terrible, which I think is... Uh, <laughs> is, pretty de is pretty good. So, yeah, this is going to be our replacement destroyer. Cheaper notably, and I think more capable than uh, Nerida over here. We have more guns. They're larger guns. One less torpedo tube. Same amount of bulkheads. Slightly slower. But, uh, what? <laughs> Nearly 20 million cheaper. Yeah, I'll, I'll, t I'll take it. Definitely. So that's my that's my main one. That's going to be my main light ship, and I think I don't know the the Majestics are okay. I just I just don't I just don't think they're going to be particularly effective. So I think see I, yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm definitely going to go with the Radiant, so because we're, we're going to lose destroyers left and right. So let us get some Radiants on the go. Let's build Flight of Five. Take seven months to build those. That's fine. Um, I can deal with that. Uh, and they can start to replace our uh, existing destroyers. Actually, how many do we have of those? 14. So yeah, what I'm, I'll, I'll stagger this so I'll so it's not overwhelming my uh, shipyards with destroyers. So we'll build five for now. 
and we'll continue to build more. But uh, yeah, I think I think a new battleship. I don't I don't think those are going to quite cut the mustard, but uh, it might be worth waiting because uh, this won't take very long to get that seventy thousand tons. Uh, or is it worth it? Maybe. Let's have a look around. Yeah, research. It's pretty much yeah, nothing. Yeah, nothing's going to come out of that. Hmm. Tell you what. Yes, I am going to lay down a new. I'm gonna, I am going to lay down a new battleship. Uh, we're going to build a new design. So modern two, sixty-nine thousand tons. Okay. So let's have a look. They're all much of a muchness, so go for the cheaper one. And these are all much of a muchness. No, there's a pretty big jump. But there's a pretty big jump in price as well. And weight. So I'm going to go for the uh, the compact version. Something like that. Because I want something with really good sea handling capabilities. Right, what guns do we have access to? 20 Mark Threes. Holy moly. That could be interesting later on. But I'm actually thinking 15s. So the 15s are Mark IVs. Because we already have a 17 and a 19 inch armed ship. But a 15 inch armed ship might prove to be more useful. Although, that would be better on a battle cruiser. What battle cruiser hulls did we have access to? Modernized and the super. Super's the one we've already got. And then you got the modernized. Okay. Uh, do you know what? I need to see the German ships. I need to see the German ships before <laughs> I make a decision. That's that's the thing. So once we have an idea of what the German ships are like, then uh, I, will, I will build some ships to counter them. I suspect we might need a heavy cruiser as well because our heavy cruisers are pretty rubbish. Let's just check that we don't have any. Yeah, we do. We've got some ships down here. I got some ships here. Uh, that's fine. And the ships that I was building, I want you all. Can I do this as a in a batch? I want you all out of scarp flow. Perfect. Uh, we have got a bunch of them on sea control in being right. So I'm gonna put the well. Basically, want everything on sea control. Uh, eventually, but our crews are all cadets at the moment, so I'm going to put everything for now <laughs> on in being. Limit the uh, limit the things I get, but uh, I, d I don't want to send cadet crews out, and I've got a pretty healthy monthly balance now, which is nice. So. Um, we'll, we'll have that as a bit of a buffer. Right, let's hit next turn and see what happens. Not much. We don't immediately start on a blockade with them, which is good. And we have a convoy mission way over here. <laughs> for some reason. And we'll get to see one of their battle cruisers. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's go. I guess, uh, what, we on a goodwill trip to Russia or something? <laughs> oh, dear me. Right, torps off. That way. Look at these things. They just... AI, you can always trust the AI to come up with something truly horrible sometimes.
Well, gives us a look at the uh, German battle cruiser. It's pretty nice. Damn, that heavy cruiser's slow. Oh, they're over that way. Okay. Ah, there are the transports. Good stuff. And enemy battle cruiser coming in very fast. What are we looking at? 13 inch guns. Okay. So if I built my own battle cruiser based around 15 inch guns, that would definitely that would definitely work. Okay. So you don't want to take too much fire from that thing. Because that will chew up my ships quite nastily. Who are they aiming for? The heavy. So the aim here is just to get in amongst the transports. Uh, these cost so much and they're just terrible these actually cost more than the heavy cruiser unreal and the heavy cruiser I'm not a huge fan of either it's not the fastest, it's not holy shit, terribly armoured truly terribly armoured yeah, not impressed at all. Starting to score some hits on the transports though, which is nice. Hold that. Keep your uh, guns focused on the transports, please. Took a hit. They're coming in hot. Very hot. Might be able to get a torpedo hit off on them. Might be amusing. But we have an ID. The Mars. 95 mil. Cordite guns, so... What kind of shells are they using? Super heavy. Super heavy Cordite 3. Increased as well. Armor's not very good. Speed's okay. Ooh, it's fired torpedoes at me. <laughs> that was my plan. What else do we know about you? You're running away from the destroyer, quite wise. Uh, plenty of secondaries. You're also trying to use gas turbines. Very expensive option. Yeah, they might be quite explodey, those things. Just a guess. But uh, I'm never going to complain about the AI building super explosive ships when they're not mine <laughs> the purpose here is definitely to try and uh, sink the transports I don't really care about the battle cruiser too much Transports being annoyingly difficult to put down. There we go. That's the heavy cruiser over here. There's 
Hang on. Oh, no. It's a nasty hit on the ulster. She didn't take any critical damage from it, though. Still absolutely miles away. Rita, could you please actually deal with the transports? Thank you. That's not a bad shot. You know what? You've got a shot, you can take it. shoot those torpedoes at any point? Might be a bad angle. Yeah, there we go. One. Not even sure that quintuple can fire. It's a terrible angle. Battle cruiser's moving away. Oh, we hit it! Wow. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, the uh, destroyers and things will be able to escape, at least. Takes down the Barden. Go after the Arminius. Job. I think that's the last transport. What torpedoes do you have? Standard 20s. Okay. Okay. You get out of here, please. Ulster. Cochrane, you may fire if you have a good shot. Otherwise, you're on a retreat. Whoa, another torpedo hit. Very nice. Might be able to get a shot off with the Narida. On the Mars over here. Does have a few bulkheads. Pretty heavily flooded on the rear. Even though it's just a Give her a bit more time in dry dock. She's spitting out torps of her own. Right. Kind of normal. Just want to slow down a bit. All oh, the ones away. And the five. There we go. Get out. One might hit, actually. Very nice. Ooh. Bunch more. That pulls her a few issues. Oh. 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 She is explosive. Going, but not for long. Okay. Pretty comprehensive victory there.
That's very nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, loads of victory points for us. Um, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Ah, and it's nice. That tells you here. So transports gave me 60 victory points, basically. And uh, a lot of the rest was from... And that, presumably, was from killing the battle cruiser. Nice. Now. These ships... <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure... There's any point repairing them. Because they're very, very expensive to repair. Very expensive. So, I know it sounds weird, but rather than repairing them, I'm just going to scrap them, particularly the destroyers. Uh, I will, however, keep the Cochrane. And I'm going to add two Radiants to our build schedule. Because I'd rather build... I know it takes longer, but I'd rather build a new Radiant class uh, than repairing one of those destroyers. Um, they're just not very good. <laughs> and that should... Yeah, it's cheaper. Much cheaper. So that's the plan. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Treadlots. Bye for now.